cities are badly built. They're not built for this climate. They're built for the different climate of a different era. All of the infrastructures of cities and the way that we build our cities are, are all wrong for rising heat. If you look at the map of almost any city in the world, you can tell which are the poor neighborhoods and which are the rich neighborhoods. The areas that have the green spaces that are more densely green are the areas that the rich people live. And the areas that have the least trees are where the most socioeconomically vulnerable uh, populations live. And that's where the heat is. That's where the cities become hottest. My mission is to raise awareness and explain and make more people conscious of the risks that come with extreme heat. It's also to help cities plan measures to support and to protect the most vulnerable people. And finally, to help cities plan, redesign themselves and plan a better future for themselves by introducing more nature and by also using technologies and materials that will help cities withstand higher temperatures. About 80% of the surfaces of our cities are made out of concrete and asphalt and this they, they are not water permeable and these types of materials absorb and they store heat and they radiate it at night also cars we have tons of cars in the city of athens uh, radiate heat and also air conditioning radiates heat which puts even more heat in the uh, atmosphere of our public spaces. And then the third element is that it's very densely built and very densely populated. The narrowness of the streets do not allow, keep the heat in the city as well, and doesn't allow it at night, it doesn't allow the sky to absorb a lot of the heat of the city because the sky absorbs a lot of heat from the surface of the earth. Nature is, the, is, is more efficient and more effective way of cooling cities and in general of shielding cities from, from heat and other climate extreme uh, weather conditions. Opening up water, bringing water to the surface, even though we don't have a large river like other European cities have, we do have rivers in Athens that we should restore, which we've cemented and put underground, all of them. Another thing that we're doing in Athens is we are creating three green corridors where uh, we are connecting existing gr green spaces with uh, intensive planting of trees in the roads that connect them, basically. Medellin, which has created 36 green corridors in the whole city, uh, connecting existing green areas with trees and uh, flower beds and um, uh, increasing biodiversity in those particular um, areas and has managed to lower temperatures four degrees. In Seoul, in South uh, Korea, they restored a river in the middle of the city by dismantling a, a 10 lane highway uh, and it, they created a 3.6 mile corridor of, of biodiversity and it's an area of the city that attracts thousands of visitors daily. Uh, the, the city of Sydney has come in contact with all the energy companies and they have agreed that when uh, a specific threshold of heat is reached, the energy companies divert uh, energy from the industrial sector to the residential areas to avoid blackouts. Cities have been doing a lot of things all around the world and, and the, the main things have to do with, with making cities more beautiful by introducing more biodiversity and more um, sustainable ecosystems within the urban fabric.